what the hell? Is, what is this? Like, like what? What? Welcome back to Andrew Says. I am your favorite 19 year old Scandinavian YouTuber. What caused Don Lemon to have this serious reaction? Was it something Trump did? Was it something like a human trafficking case? Was it the silliness of this impeachment process? Well, no. What if I told you it was over a meme? You wouldn't believe me, would you? On this solemn day, I'm, I recall that the first order of business for members of what? What are we in junior high school? Like, what the hell? Is, what is this? Like, what? What? I cannot believe that I'm even having to report this on the news. This is, cr this is crazy. This is literally crazy. Are you people insane? Are you, are you insane? Go ahead. Troll the Democrats on Twitter. Do this stupid, silly, you know what? Play this stupid, juvenile, meme game. History won't record this meme, stupid crap. But history will record this. The seriousness of what is happening. That today is the day that the House of Representatives in the United States of America introduced articles of impeachment against President Donald J. Trump, the President of the United States of America, for committing high crimes and misdemeanors. Now Don's acting here like, like he's winning. Now Don, Levin, Don Lemon never does anything childish or he never lies. He never calls people racist all the time. Now we've seen this from CNN before, obviously. We've seen them melt down over memes. They melted down uh, over the Trump WWE meme. They doxed a guy, a kid who was making memes. I don't know if it was a kid or an adult, I don't remember. But the point was they doxed a guy for making a meme that they didn't like. Uh, Don Lamont, or Don Lamone, depending on your uh, where you're from, <laughs> he's also not the news. He says he has to. Re he's upset that he has to report this on the news. Don, you're not the news. I'm not sure why he calls himself that. He's an opinion show, which also begs the question: Why is he saying he can't believe he has to cover this? <laughs> Don, it's your show. You don't have to cover anything you don't want to. You don't have to cover stupid memes. What are you talking about? Doesn't make any sense. Not a good week, though, in its entirety for Don Lamone. He also had a recent re-uncovering of everything we already knew in the uh, IG report. Don Lemon says it's all lies here, people. What I've been telling you guys since 2016, since I started this channel, and you can fact check that if you want, that they went and they got the Steele dossier. They gave it to Yahoo News. The FBI said to the courts, hey, look, the news is reporting this. We need, a, uh, we need to put through this FISA request, uh, the FISA warrant to spy on Trump Tower. Uh-oh, we didn't find anything. Uh, let's start a Russia investigation. Uh-oh, we didn't find anything. Let's try everything we can. Racism, sex sexism, everything, and that doesn't work, let's try, impeach try impeachment. Don Lemon says that stuff's not all true. He's still doubling down on this. He's saying that we all, what we all know and what is now all written down in reports for everybody to see, I mean, we've, um, we're waiting for something to happen. I'm waiting for something to happen. All this stuff, and Don Lemon says, no, it's still, it's still not true. How is the White House and the Republican Party dealing with the articles of impeachment and an inspector general report that debunks their conspiracy theories? Gaslighting. By the way, there was no spying, of course. The FBI obtained proper warrants. You should read the report. Facts first, none of that is true. The report found that the launch of the Russia investigation was legally sound, unbiased, and that no spying occurred. That is the God's honest truth. 
Read the report if you don't believe me. So unlike the Mueller investigation, the Russian collusion investigation, that came up with nothing. And Don Lemon and CNN pushed it for months and months and months. Wait till the report comes out, you guys. It's going to be the best. Uh, nothing comes out of that. They pushed that for months. All this stuff that's clear as day. Oh, that's still untrue, says Don Lemon. To the bitter end, he's going to fight for this. Don Lemon uh, could watch Donald Trump. It's funny that they're both named Don. He must hate that. Trump could win the next election 99% of the vote to 1%. And Don Lemon would still say this is all a lie, everyone hates Trump, he's a racist, don't listen to anybody else. But I guess if you're CNN, that's the kind of soldier you want, don't you? The person that's going down to the bitter end? But at what point does this change from uh, news reporting or an opinion show to just straight propagandist? Now that's probably a little harsh. I wouldn't usually say that, but if you're going to sit there and say this stuff when he pushed all the other stuff for like a year, if he's going to sit here and say this stuff that's blatantly true and not disputed because they just don't bring it up. Everybody else just doesn't bring it up. Don Lemon's saying that it's actually not true. If he's just going to sit there, then he doesn't actually know anything and he's just reading a script that other people wrote for him. Or he's willing to just sit there and lie. I don't know. You're going to have to decide at what to what extreme uh, people are going to still watch this stuff. I mean, not that many people watch CNN anyways, I guess. <laughs> Down with the memes. They're ruining our country, you guys. Not our line. But I wouldn't lie to you, remember. Except for maybe this once, I guess.